stuff right there. All right. You had some questions? <laughs> Deep car stuff. Lots of, I don't know, everything <laughs> with cars. Build them, race them, crash them, flip them. Like my ethnicity? No, car shit. I guess I started out as a hot rod kid, like 14, 15, obsessed with muscle cars. My dad was supposed to get a muscle car for his 40th, so my mom wanted me to learn about them and buy him one. He wanted a 68 Camaro, so I learned all about them. We wound up not getting him a car, but I was like fully obsessed. I had to have a muscle car, so I started working in a tire shop when I was like 14 and 15 every summer, 40 plus hours a week, saving all my pennies. And then I got my first car, my Demon, which is here. Where I'm from, outside of Philadelphia, is a pretty intense hot rodding scene. So there was like import dudes and super guys. And at the time, tons and tons of like DSM and Honda guys. I sold a bunch of my hot rod parts for my car. Then I bought another one. Right around then we started seeing Initial D and we were like, whoa, drifting is rad and our cars are awesome for it. And I met Matt Petty. Um, right around then, it was like 2002. So we hit it off like crazy, and we were like, yo, let's have drift events at English Town Raceway Park, New Jersey. You know, we were like 21 years old, stupid kids with no business experience or had any like real idea what like a meeting was like. I needed someone Wait, to show your mouth. Shut, shut, your, shut your mouth. I'm sorry, what did You're you just You're just coming say? off stupid. Matt called a meeting with the new owner of English Town at the time, Mike Knapp and we sat down with the dude. We had a, an option two video, put it on for him. It's a bunch of Japanese dudes screaming incoherently and like cars driving sideways. <laughs> and expecting this dude, this, you know, red-blooded American dude who grew up drag racing to be like, you guys are fucking idiots. You should get out immediately. To our surprise, he goes, I get it, I love it. Let's do it, let's do 10 events the first year. Okay, USA. We hit a nerve, like everybody wanted it. Everybody was stoked on it. So started driving for the first year. And at the time, if you remember, the only people running drift events in the country was the Northeast, like Jersey, PA, all those, you know, us, and then guys in LA. So yeah, after we started the first uh, East Coast drift events, within a year, um, I'd gone out to D1 driver search in LA, and then FD was coming around and decided just to pack it up and, and head, to, head to LA and move there and kind of make it, you know, as a pro drifter. So I did that for a long time. Man, wait! Did you get a job? Yeah. A couple years ago, started uh, going back to my hot rod roots and started hosting Hot Rod Garage on the Motor Trend channel. <laughs> That's been the best, so it's awesome. And I get to, you know, sort of still romp around in cars sideways all the time and build a drift muscle car, which was something I want to do forever, so. <laughs> Both. I don't know. I really like driving cars that drive well. Drift cars are more fun to drive, but I love hot, hot rod style is the best. They're just cooler in general. So fun to drive drift cars, cooler, hot rods are cooler by pff, a million. It's not even a question. <laughs> Jeez, I don't really know anymore. Basically, we were a bunch of kids coming out of the Northeast trying to like fend and fight with, with all the other pro drifters from around the country and really Dudes from the Northeast, me and JR and Turk and Forsberg had like not the same kind of support that the dudes from the West Coast had. So we kind of banded together, started this thing called Drift Alliance. Oh my God, like everyone was pretty straight laced and we were like a bunch of fucking wild animals trying to like really go way too hard all the time. Check it out, it's Stream Cheddar! But you know, and then everybody went on to just absolutely kill it in drifting. So it's, it's really like, a bunch of maniacs who turned into like a, the most successful drift team ever. I don't know, man. It's it, drifting's in a weird place. Like for me, drifting's about fun. It's about driving and making yourself happy. You know, ten years ago, so what? Two thousand seven. 
That was a fun time to compete. Cars weren't so gnarly. Uh, you could get away with a lot less car and have a lot more fun. Pro drifting is absolutely bananas. I mean, it's so, cars are so fast and they cost so much to maintain and it's awesome, but it's a totally different thing. So I, I really dig like Springsteen, big time. Uh, any Springsteen stuff, Born to Run, all that stuff is the best. But that Wolf Like Me song, TV on the radio, I used that in my last one. It's been like 10 years, but that song is the shit. Oh, YouTube, for sure. I don't really watch TV. I don't have cable anymore. I was super into Stranger Things. That blew my mind. I was in like in 10 minutes in, I'm like, I'm into this show. Hook, line, and sinker, you got me, I'm down. We celebrated Stranger Things, but this award from you who take your craft seriously and earnestly believe. I would probably be an angle grinder. You know what I mean? Because they get, they get shit done. They're the, it's like the, one of the most useful tools. If you give a talented dude like an angle grinder and a welder, he can make a lot of stuff. Zip ties, because I hate cleaning up JB Weld after it's on there, it's miserable. Ugh, I don't know. I feel like the seven, early 70s was probably super tight. Muscle cars had just run out, but everybody still had them, right? And they were worth nothing. You could buy like a Hemi uh, Roadrunner for like $4,000, right? And people were dressing like wild animals. Still like free love going on. Rock and roll was still pretty tight, all that good stuff. So I think 70s. Oh, the Ramones, for sure. I would go watch the Ramones at like CBGB's in like 77. That would be the best. Hey, oh, let's go. Probably Joey. I don't know, a little bit of a dreamer and kind of like a, a nice dude, but also a badass. I think he's my favorite. Although Dee Dee was a real maniac. I can't decide. Definitely not Johnny. Johnny was a real dickhead. Swore. Fuck are you, you swore. <laughs> I don't know. I like cheap beer and expensive whiskey. So if I'm gonna just chill at home, maybe a little bit of bourbon. But uh, if I'm really getting after it, I like to slam a bunch of cheap beers and then get after that whiskey. New York slice style pizza. I mean, I'll give you, I'll even call it New York so you guys know what it is, but it happens all over the Northeast. Cheese steaks are all right. If you get a great one, it's pretty good, but like pizza is the best. P-I-C-C-A, I want pizza. I was really into the Dukes of Hazard as like a young kid. That was big for me. And I didn't even remember like knowing what the car was or any of that stuff, but I just remember like, I thought those dudes were awesome. I'm like, those dudes are living the best life. Yeah! You know, when I was a kid searching for a car, I must've looked at 35 different cars. Mopar is like weirder and cooler and more fun. Especially back in the day when parts were hard to find and you had to like go to Chrysler's at Carlisle and like really commit to it. Way more fun, I think, to sort of be a Mopar guy. Uh, rotaries are heartbreaking. They're awesome. But uh, if you own a rotary, it's, it's honestly, it's like, it's like dating a crazy girl. I love this so much. Just when you think you've got it all just dialed in, something explodes. Let's see, I really dig high, like a high compression, high power and AV8 for sure. But most effective, my favorite is turbocharging for sure. Ugh, flying, I think. Probably flying back and forth across the country a million times. I've never been up in a plane before. You ever seen a grown man naked? I will say that uh, Ryan Turk's Ferrari engine FRS is pretty tight. That's, a, that's an interesting thing and it's super cool to do and I like that they didn't, you know, it's not an easy thing to do. That's rad and I think dudes that put uh, Cummins motors into muscle cars are also super rad. <laughs> All right, are we done here? Simple, painless. Love it. <laughs>